What's up? We are going through the best four player props on prize picks. So we are going through the best four positive expected value player props on prize picks. So I have a four player prop pick entry. And again, it is so critical as a DFS player to compare the odds you are getting on prize picks to the odds on the sports books. So we've gone through this before, but any two player prop pick entry is going to be plus 200 odds on prize picks. Any three leg entry is going to be plus 400 odds. Any four player prop pick entry is just going to be plus 900 odds. So essentially for any four leg entry, you have to be winning each leg 56.2% of the time to break even. For any two leg entry, you have to be winning 57.74% of the time to break even. So what we wanna do is we wanna compare the odds that we are getting on prize picks, the implied odds to the odds on the sports books, right? So we can see that prize picks, they have Clay Thompson, his line set at over under two and a half. And again, what's so crazy about prize picks is it doesn't matter if I pick the over or the under, I'm just gonna be getting plus 900 odds for a four player prop pick entry. If I remove this player and I, you know, add in another player, it's still gonna be the same $200 to win 900. It's still going to be plus 900 odds for a four player prop pick entry. However, if you look on the sports books for Clay Thompson, you know, under an assist is heavily, heavily juiced. It's minus 168 on FanDuel, right? So if we head over to the NBA and we go here and then we go to player assists, you can see for Clay Thompson, if I bet $100 on the under, I'm only, you know, staking 100 to win 59.52. If I bet $100 on Clay Thompson over, I'm staking 100 to win 136, right? On prize picks, it doesn't matter if you select the over or the under, which is why you want to compare prize picks to the sports books and look for where the sports books have a one leg, right? Very juiced. So here we see Pinnacle Sportsbook right here, the sharpest bookmaker in the world. They have the over plus 149, one of these two columns you can look at, and they have the under all the way down at minus 207. So most sports books are pricing this like minus 180, minus 190, minus 200 for Clay under two and a half assists. So what we can do is we can take this market right here on Pinnacle and throw it into a no vig fair odds calculator. So what this calculator will do is remove the vig, remove the juice from a sports books market to show you the implied win probability from the sports book. So essentially Pinnacle, the most efficient betting market out there, right here, all the bets they're taking, all the action they're taking, their model is implying that Clay Thompson under two and a half assists is 62.67 to hit, 62.67% to hit, right? So roughly, you know, twice as likely as the over, and we're able to get this on prize picks. So that's the first leg I have, NBA player prop for game one of Warrior Celtics. Um, the second leg I have, is right here. Under two and a half shots on goal for Hurricanes Rangers game seven, minus 137. Again, just look at the sports books. They have the over heavily, heavily, you know, as a heavy, heavy underdog. And we're able to pick up under two and a half shots on goal on prize picks. And again, we put this into a zero vig odds calculator, 130 minus 177. So this bet has a lower win probability or this NHL player prop has a lower win probability than Clay Thompson, which you can see because the sports books have it less juiced on the under compared to Clay Thompson, right? Pinnacle was minus 207 on Clay Thompson under two and a half assists, but for shots on goal, they're only at minus 177, right? So this is a worse player prop, right? It is lower on the positive EV page. This pick only has 2.95% edge compared to this first one, which is currently the highest, the best player prop on Odds Jam, the best mathematically profitable positive EV player prop on Odds Jam. So if we can continue to scroll, there's two more player props that I ended up going with that I went with yesterday as well. McDavid, not to score a goal. Game one, Avalanche Oilers and McKinnon, not to score a goal. So betting against the two best players in hockey. Right, and you can do the same thing, take this market, put it into a zero vig odds calculator right here, remove the juice, get the win probability for your player props, which I did right here. Right, so I have four player props, they're all uncorrelated. I have the win probability for each of my player props, 
So the win probability for my prize picks entry is just going to be, you know, the probability McDavid doesn't score a goal times the probability Clay Thompson has under two and a half assists times the probability McKinnon has under half of a goal, you know, times the shots on goal bet. So we are winning our prize picks entry at plus 900 odds, 12.79% of the time. And I ended up staking, where is it? So not this, not this, where is it? Right here. Four, four, four picks, right? Clay Thompson, uh, McDavid, McKinnon, shots on goal. So four player props, four picks to win 1,500, plus 900 odds, right? Because uh, your 150 stake is included in this prize picks payout. So 150 to win 1,350 in profit, that's just plus 900 odds. So 12.8% of the time, we're going to be winning 1,350. And the other 87.2% of the time, we are going to be losing our stake of 150. So the EV of this entry is going to be, you know, 87.2% of the time, we're losing our stake of 150 times, you know, 12.8% of the time, we're winning 1350 in profit. So this player prop, this player prop entry on prize picks has $42 in profit margin, quantified mathematically using real time odds real-time odds from the sharpest sports book in the world pinnacle right you want to be all over the under in your prize picks entry right for this bet as well as for clay thompson under right you want to be all over the under for mcdavid and mckinnon as well there's a lot of value right the sports books are heavily juicing the under which means the win probability for the under should be greater than that on the over. You definitely don't want to take McDavid to score a goal in your prize picks entry. Why would you do that when you can just go to Caesars and bet 100 to win $129 in profit, right? Why would you take minus 137 on prize picks? So this is looking for value on prize picks, finding value in the odds on prize picks. Look for where the sports books have the under, the over, heavily, heavily juiced, back out the fair implied win probability using the market on the sharpest sports book in the world, right? So use a no vig fair odds calculator to figure out your win percentages. And if your win percentages are, you know, above 57.74, um, then you're gonna be you're gonna be profitable on prize picks, right? You're gonna be profitable because your prize picks player props are hitting at a rate above the break even that you need to be, you know, to be profitable, to be a profitable DFS player on prize picks. So 28% edge in this prize picks entry, absolutely incredible. 12.8% um, of the time we'll be winning 1350, again, quantified using real time odds from Pinnacle. And yeah, four player props in this prize picks entry. Let me know if you like it. A lot of unders in this player prop um, entry on prize picks. Four player props, three NHL, one for tonight, two for tomorrow, one early NBA prop. Um, all value plays from the odd sham positive expected value page, all mathematically profitable. Any questions you have about prize picks, about prize pick strategy, the best prize pick strategy, you know, the math behind prize picks, feel free to comment them in this video. And again, thanks so much for your time.